SpaceX Falcon 9 is back in action. Exactly two weeks from the mishap, SpaceX announced tonight that they are returning to flight as early as this Saturday. They have identified what went wrong with the Falcon 9 incident on July 11th that doomed a Starlink launch. And the FAA has approved return to flight, saying, After a comprehensive review, the FAA determined no public safety issues were involved in the anomaly that occurred during the SpaceX Starlink Group 9-3 launch on July 11th. Exactly two weeks from the mishap to FAA approval. That is a new space flight record. Congratulations to SpaceX. The previous record holder was Rocket Lab, which received its FAA approval to return to flight two and a half weeks after an incident in 2021. I'm Lara Forsick. I'm the executive director of space consulting firm Astrolytical. We watch the emerging space industry. We especially pay attention to space flight. I'd like to give props to both SpaceX and to the FAA for acting so quickly. I think we all pretty much understood that there was not a safety concern when it comes to a second stage failure. So I expected a quick return to flight, especially after SpaceX asked the FAA to do a quick approval. Talked about it in this video if you want to go back and see what SpaceX was doing to try to speed up the approval process. And it appears to have worked. But also it appears that SpaceX really wrapped up their investigation very quickly. They identified the problem, they fixed it, and they took corrective actions. According to SpaceX's statement, the cause of the leak was identified as a crack in a sense line for a pressure sensor attached to the vehicle's oxygen system. This line cracked due to fatigue caused by high loading from engine vibration and looseness in the clamp that normally constrains the line. When you have as many flights as SpaceX does with Falcon 9, they are able to quickly figure out what went wrong based on their extensive history launching this rocket. So what comes next? Well, they are launching as soon as Saturday, another Starlink bunch, which was to be expected. That's their own satellites. They can afford to put them at risk per se, although I really don't think anything is going to go wrong with that launch. At this point, we don't know how much they're moving moving around their manifest. After this Saturday's Starlink launch, there's going to be another Starlink launch. At least that's what's in the manifest right now. They intended to have a crewed mission, the Polaris Dawn mission, on July 31st. However, we already know that is delayed. We don't have a new date for that yet. I would imagine that they're going to do some uncrewed flights before they do a crewed flight. Aside from Starlink launches, I don't know how many Starlink launches they're going to do before they do commercial launches. Their next commercial mission is the Arctic Satellite Broad broadband mission, which is for Space Norway. And they also have in the docket Worldview Legion Earth Observation Satellites 3 and 4 and Transporter 11. That's a ride share with many different customers. At this point, we don't know how much SpaceX is going to do of its own Starlink satellite launches before it does customer satellite launches, before it does crewed launches for either Polaris Dawn or NASA Crew 9. Like We just don't know. And it might even be dependent on this return to flight launch on Saturday. What we do know is that the space industry is so reliant on SpaceX that we all were cheering them on for a quick return to flight. They have so many customers. They have such a packed schedule that any disruptions at all, even this two week long disruption is enough to move things around to delay things. Delays with customer payloads, delays with launches are expected and factored into budgets, but it does cost money to delay programs. We have not yet gotten to the point where we can absorb any kind of delay like this, but it does appear that we are moving in a direction where these turnarounds can happen much, much quicker. And when you have a company as motivated and as tied into the culture of speed as SpaceX, like you're going to make fast progress. Congratulations once again to SpaceX. Looking forward to seeing the return to flight. Looking forward to seeing how many flights it can accomplish this year since this was only a two week delay. They might even accomplish their goal of 144 launches this year. That's the goal they set earlier this year. We're going to have to see, but I wish them the best.